Ani this. So I'm working on my testimony videos, which I'll be posting soon. And while doing that, it just brought to mind something that God revealed to me when I first became a Christian. And just, it's just such a beautiful thing, and so I really want to share it with you guys. So we've all seen a crucifix. If you live in the West, I think all of us have seen the image of Christ just hanging right from, from the cross. When you look at Jesus, and he's sitting there on the cross, right? And his arms are wide open like this. I mean, just look at that position. You know, when, when you see somebody and you love them and you haven't seen them in a long time, what do you do? You run to them with your arms wide open, right? And when there's a little kid at daycare and the parent's there to pick him up and the little kid runs to the parent, Mommy, Mommy, you're back, you're back. And the parent's like, Hi, honey, I love you. I missed you. Did you have a fun day at school? Oh, come here. Let's go home. Um, and that's the exact position that Jesus has because that's what Jesus is saying to you. That's what he's saying to us. God is here with his arms wide open. I mean, literally, Jesus has his arms like this. And he's just here waiting and just saying, I'm here. What I have is yours. You matter to me. I love you. You're forgiven. You're accepted. You're wanted. And it's just so beautifully expressed, even in the physicality, not just in the act. It's amazing how God just works everything together that, you know, he chose for Jesus to be crucified on a cross and that even the actual position and even the the visual symbolism of the cross would be able to, to create this. You guys, God is here. He's welcoming. He wants you. He loves you. He has everything you've ever needed. Um, he knows everything about you. He knows everything that fills your heart, all the longings in your heart. And he's here and he wants to give it to you. He wants you to know true love. He wants you to feel joy. And so it's up to us if we are going to look for all of these things, look for love and validation and purpose and fulfillment and meaning in this person and that person and this job and that job and how many Louis Vuitton bags I have or if I can get an Oscar, whatever. <laughs> you know, and all of these things. And here we are hurting ourselves, hurting others, um, or simply just being unfulfilled, unhappy, struggling, looking in all these places when all that we have to do literally is just turn around, look at the cross, and Jesus is just there like this. I'm waiting for you. Whenever you're ready, I'm here. When you're ready, okay. Are you tired? Have you been let down enough? Have you been hurt enough? Do you understand that no one can ever love you like I do? Do you understand that nothing can ever fulfill you the way I can? Have you come to the end of yourself? Have you realized that there's only so much you can get in the world, that that things that, that are in the world are temporary, that it's all going to pass by, that people will leave you, things will change, riches can be lost? Are you ready to come know the truth, to know real love? Girl, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. My arms are open, literally waiting for you inviting you, just wanting you to see me and to see me because I want to give you so much. I have all the love you've been looking for right here. I have it. I want it. I'm offering it to you. Look, it's what, like, I'm not holding anything back from you. God isn't holding anything back from you. He's like this, like literally, like nothing, nowhere to hide. Like just, it's all yours. My love is yours. My love, my, my goodness, my Forgiveness, everything, it here. Like, my truth, you can have it. And and it's us. It's us who just look at it and don't realize it, look at it and don't want it. Um, we're so caught up in in ourselves and in, 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 um, in the lies that we believe. So look at the cross, guys, and think of it as, like, Jesus offering you a hug, because that's, that's what I think. Like, he loved me. He's just offering me a hug and it's the hug that never ends you know and I just want to run to it and just uh, hug the bottom of the cross and be like Jesus oh my gosh and yeah and that's that's it so just yeah look at that think of it with arms wide open and what are the lyrics I'll um I'll show you everything and give you everything you need something like that it's the lyrics but that's exactly what God is saying because God wants us to come home. He's our Father, and He wants us to come home. Just how that song, I think, is about um, them having a baby and wanting to welcome and their child, and they're just like, hey, and that's us to God. 
He wants us to come home. We're his lost children. And he's like, guys, I'm your father and I'm here. So just remember the best hug in all of the universe, the greatest act of love, and the arms that will always be open for you if you will just come to the feet of the cross. You will just come to him and say, oh God, I love you. I'm sorry. Yes, please help me. <laughs> I need you. I can't get it all right on my own. I'm hurt. <laughs> I don't understand so many things. I'm scared of whatever it is you're afraid of. And those arms open for you, for you, for you, for you. It's the best hug ever. The best hug ever. The best hug ever. Jesus on the cross. So, so yeah. I don't know. Maybe you guys had already thought about this. Maybe you never had thought of it that way. Um, but I hope that that will, um, yeah, help you think about the cross. That when you see a cross, you'll you'll really see that. You'll see Jesus just offering everything for you. Um, and not just see, like, just the death. Which, I mean, the death is the means by which he is able to offer everything to you. And by which we are able to be reconciled to him. So it's important. But um, I just want everybody to know that God loves you. There is one who is waiting for you, who if you ever feel that you're alone, if you ever feel that you are hated, if you ever feel that you're not enough, if you ever feel um, betrayed, um, like there's no place for you, guys, there is one place where you will always be wanted, always be loved, where you will always have a place, you will always be accepted. And that's the cross. And that's why God, his arms are wide open. Um, so, so remember that. Remember that God loves you. And he loves you so much that yes, he accepts you as you are. But he's not going to let you stay as you are. Because, well, maybe we'll get into that in a different video. So yeah, I hope you guys all can come to know the love of God. And you guys can all come to know how valuable you are. How loved you are. Um, so loved. That Jesus would die for you. Um, just remember that next time you're feeling horrible and like you're worth nothing. And if you want to know the God that made you, the God that offers this love, you know, it's not just about knowing that He's there. You have to come to Him. If you want to know that love, if you want to know who you really are, know how wanted and loved and you are and, and what you were created for, then you have to come to him. But so it's an invitation. It's an invitation and um and it's a an act of love and it's a hug. And so I hope you all feel hugged today. Hug, hug, hug. Um and yeah, let's just praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you love us. Um and I pray that you would open the eyes of the people watching that they would also realize what you've done for us and realize who you are and um, that they would come to you and that they would ex fix their eyes on you and that they would see your beauty, Lord, and uh, see your goodness, um, that they would realize their need for you, that they would realize that everything that they need, everything that they that their heart longs for is, is right there in, in your arms. And I pray that um, that you would help them to see that and that they would and that they would seek you, Lord. So, so praise God. We pray in Jesus' name. And I just hope you guys are all blessed today. And yeah, I hope you'll join me again soon. See you guys. Arms wide open. Da, da, da.